Ready to look like Elsa from Frozen? You guys requested this tutorial more than any other video by far. Specifically how to do the Elsa makeup from my viral princess photos. I'm so excited to share this with you so you can get the step-by-step -step on how to transform yourself into Elsa too. So let's get started. Step one is just to make sure that you have put on your foundation. I will link in the description below to my tutorial on putting on costume or stage makeup foundation. So, all right, here I have some Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. It's a long lasting eyeshadow base, and that's the point. You want your eyeshadow to stay on a long time. All right, so start with your primer. <laughs> while we're giving it a second to dry, I'm actually gonna move on to blush. You will need a pink blush. I'm using one that's a Ben Nye pink blush. You can just kinda put it on where you usually put blush on. There's nothing too out of the ordinary. Kinda blend it in, blend it out. And if you get too much in here, you can kinda wipe it in. A nice bit of powder will help a little bit so it looks a little bit less like it's just sitting on top of you. <laughs> there is a magical palette when it came out. I was so excited because like, that's it. That is my Elsa makeup. Ta -da! This is the Urban Decay Electric Palette. We're gonna start with the pink one called Jilted and just put it all over your lids. I don't have hardly any on here and it's seriously so intense. And there's gonna be a ton of blending happening. Any fluffy-ish brush will do. Don't spend too much time blending the pink part right now. Just kind of do a first pass through because we're gonna put purple in the crease next. We're gonna use Urban and put it in your crease. Seriously, this color is so intense. So you've been warned. So we're gonna do it in the crease and in this outer corner. So just blend, and blend, and blend. Swirl it around. What I'm doing now is going back in, because I really blended out, just putting a little more purple, just in that outer corner of the crease, and then pulling it a little bit in, just to kind of brighten it back up, because uh, I blended pretty well, which is a good thing. And then, your pink brush puts a little bit of pink, especially right on the top, of the lid here, just so it's pink again. Oh, very nice. Looks better already. Kind of put it, blend them in together again. Any color that you would usually use to highlight your brow bone, you can use that. The original Naked Palette Virgin is nice. Use some of that. You could also use a matte up here, it's totally fine. You're gonna be sparkly, you don't worry about that. I mean, this is Elsa we're talking about. I'm not gonna leave you without some sort of, <laughs> without some sort of magical, amazing glitter. Do not worry. I'm also gonna take a little bit in the inner corner, just a little tad. So what am I gonna do next is false lashes. I usually use Flutter. Their Sephora brand half lashes already cut. If you see my vlog of craziness that happened, you'll see how I lost one of them before I ever even got the costume on. Long story. These say Eyler, and even though I already have some on, I'm gonna put them on anyway to show you. I like to put the lashes on before I do the eyeliner because you can use the eyeliner to blend it all in together. Just line it up with the outside and press it on in there. If you take your little lash and you bend it a little bit like this first, that helps get it on. Here I go again with my little mirror. Line it up with the outside. You should use a liquid liner on the top. I prefer felt tip, and I always say just go as thin as you can with the line because you can always go thicker, but you can't really easily take it away once you put it on. I like to start in the middle where I can blend in the little gap where the eye, the fake eyelash strip starts so that you can't see that as much. So I start there and I just kind of cover it up and then drag it. Whoops. See, that's why you go thin. Be careful when you go into the inner corner not to make it too thick. Keep it pretty thin there. 
really, really close to your lash line because you don't want it looking all black and gunky in your inner corner. You want it to stay pretty light. Again, for the other eye, I just like to start in the very center. To make sure that that doesn't go anywhere, take a black powder. This is Carbon from MAC. This stuff is intense. You just put a teeny speck of this on there. Pat this on, on top of where you would just put it on that liner to seal it in so it's not going anywhere. Literally any black liner pencil we have will be fine. It shouldn't be a hard line, just like a soft black, not dramatic, just kind of almost more like a shadow. This is a little bit of high beam, not a ton. Lightly put a little bit, cause we're gonna get several things going on here. On the top of the cheekbones, like where you would highlight anywhere. You can keep it up pretty high. You can put a little bit on the brow bone. You can even dab a speck in the inner corners if you want. Seal it in with a little bit of this silver dusk. Not a lot because I'm also gonna put some glitter still on on top of it. It's just a little bit right where we put that. This is the Alchemist Holographic palette. They look all white when they're in here, but this one's green, blue, purple, and pink. So what I wanted to do was take a tiny bit of that little purple and put it up here and highlight with that on the brow bone as well. And then a tiny little speck here in the inner corners, uh, very cool. So the last highlighty thing I'm gonna do is this is Ben Nye Glitzit. We're gonna put it up here. You could go a little heavier and wider with this cause Elsa's pretty shimmery. This side too, just kinda go to town. Make yourself sparkly. I'm just gonna use salsa, it's Ben Nye. I used two different colors for Elsa's lips. Lime Crime, Pink Velvet, and then Madison Mauve. It's from Maybelline. This I actually got at Fashion Week a long time ago. Oh. Take a lip brush. It's really important to use a brush so you can be really precise. And start with the pink. And just go to town with it. So you want to put this on top of it. In the movie, Elsa's lips almost look like they change colors. In some scenes they look really pink. And then some scenes they look really purple. I couldn't really figure out how to get it quite right. This actually works pretty well. And you can feel free to get a good bit of purple on top of it. Take that same Glitzit gel and take a little bit and just pat it in the little, 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 right in the middle of your bottom lip right there. If you want, you can contour your nose. Take a shade that's a couple shades darker than your natural skin color. Draw two lines basically down the sides of your nose and then to kind of make it look a little more buttony We're going to basically draw a little square Not even a square kind of more like a circle Like this is like a line straight across But then these this is more like a circle around your nose Highlight the places where you didn't contour. So it's just kind of like the reverse all right, and now I gotta blend like crazy. I'm just gonna use my finger because I don't wanna get out of the brush. <laughs> oh, and the colors I was using, Naked 2, Venus, and I even used a little bit of Foxy in there from the Naked Urban Decay Basics palette. I'm gonna take the original Naked palette and get some of Virgin and just put it right on the tip of my nose. There we go, we're elsified. I'll be right back. If you try this out yourself, I would love to see what it looks like. So tag me in it on Instagram. Let me know what princess you want to see next. Let me know what other videos you want to see next. Please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, life is what you make it. So create your fairy tale each and every day. And I'll see you in the next video. Shenanigans. Shenanigans galore. It looks like a big W. Hmm.